Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Quantum Blade Gaming. Today we're going to do a bit more with Minecraft 1710. So back in our world with our private custom mod pack, where last time we were beginning to actually get to the long-anticipated double helix. I'm trying to make the, uh, trying to set that up. So, so far, um, progress on that has been iffy. Having a little trouble getting the uh, initial circle made, so I'm trying to set up some boundaries that will help me with that. Um, right this minute, though, I am just about out of dirt. That's odd. I thought we had gotten this all the way... No, I guess we did leave off partway. Okay, continuing then. I've actually been playing a bit of um, Sky Factory 3 here recently. And, um, very entertaining, but there's some things about some of the older mods, um, now that they've been ported up to, uh, to 110 that just bother me. And Angel Blocks is actually one of those things that bothers me because the, you know, the old Angel Blocks you could just tap and it would break and instantly come back to your inventory without fail, which was amazing for doing things like this. And the new Angel Block, um, you can still place it in midair like the old one, but it, like, it's substantially, it's probably at least as hard to break as cobble. I think it does still guaranteed come back to your inventory, but to me it's, uh, not nearly as good as the old angel block, because for stuff like this, taking the time to break every individual one, if it was as hard as cobble, it's just not a good situation. don't know why they made that change. Okay, getting there, getting there. We need a lot more dirt, though. Need a lot more dirt. Um, so... My digital miner actually is not pulling dirt up, and I don't want to make a big pit in the nearby terrain, so I'm going to fly... Let's see, where's my glider? There's my glider. I'm going to fly away a ways, and then just mine up some dirt. Because this drill I've got... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, recharge the drill. This IC2 drill is just amazing for dirt. Because it just pretty much instantly breaks the dirt. Unfortunately, it takes EU, not RF, so I have to charge it specifically in IC2 machines. All right, which way do we want to go? Let's see, where's my map? Map! Map, map. Where's my, nope. Nope. Don't want to morph. I don't remember what I have the map set to. Love those, or those uh, cherry orchard biomes. Don't want to tear that up either. This looks like a decent hill to tear up. Where is... Okay, J. J is my button for that. Okay. So how far away from the tower are we? Yeah, that's a pretty good distance. Wow, look at all the sheeps and chickens and cows. Alright. Dirt! Wow, lag. Hello. Wonder if there's anything interesting down here. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yes, I know, I'm getting distracted. Be out of power here in a minute on the drill anyway. I really should go ahead and even though I've kind of gotten away from IC2, I really should go ahead and um, make like a Lapatron power pack for the drill. Because I don't think there's anything else in this pack. See, yep, yeah, dead drill. I don't think there's anything else in this pack that does as fast a job. Like, see, this does decent on dirt, but nothing like the other one. Oh, my inventory's full. Because I've got stupid things like seeds floating around. I think I just put something in there I didn't mean to. I don't even know what it was now. See, my RF pick is probably the next best one. When it's in empowered mode. Actually, that might even be just a little bit better. But again, when it's in empowered mode. And it's already out of power. <laughs> So yeah, I really could use the Lapatron pack for the drill and a um, power potato for the RF pick. Alright. Let's eat some chicken. and get back to the tower. How badly did we damage that hill? That actually doesn't look too bad. Man, I need to turn down the distance on those waypoints. Maximum distance of, let's say... 300. Ah, that's better. I wish you could both set a maximum distance in general and set like specific waypoints to never have a limit. That would be amazing. I like how I came up right through that floor. Right through that. Right in between the... Uh, bridges. I have to say I'm really missing light bridges and doors in the newer packs. Hey Covert, how's it going man? Let's let these other things charge up. Excellent, okay. And back to the double helix. <coughs> oh, suddenly occurs to me I put all the dirt in the system. I kind of need that. No, no, don't. Don't drop down. Doing good? Good, man. Good to hear it. <clears throat> so what you up to today? Ooh, creeper. Still need a better ranged weapon. Goodbye. <laughs> Man, 
may not be a good ranged weapon, but it certainly works for that. Oh no, the badge did still didn't work. Oh man, I thought for sure I had that. Like, is it not coming on at all, or it's just doing the wrong thing? coming on at all. Oh, red light on the board rot lights up, but the screen isn't coming on. Um, yeah, that could be not having the right BIOS on, or not having the right image on it. If you use that utility you were looking at, um, and connect it to the device, you can look at what's flashed in its memory and see if you think that's what should be there. Because there were some mentions of badge and, and things in there, so I'm, I'm thinking it flashed correctly, but then in that case I don't know what would be wrong. see you creeper idea checked your soldering and it looks good yeah man I don't know um, like I say try that utility and take a look at what's in the badge and see if what's in the chip and see if that looks like the right BIOS has so many soldering points though yeah could be very easy to get one of those wrong and then have the whole thing not work Okay, so I now have a couple of guides to go between. So now this I need to take up. I hate that didn't work though. I was really hoping that badge was going to work.
Okay. Now then. There's probably some relationship between the length of the line at the right angle and how long this first segment should be, but I don't know what that ratio would be. I wonder if I can figure it out from here. So these... These we started with... One, two, three, four, five... And the length of the side was... Oh, no, you don't. I see you. Length of the side was too far. Right here. Twenty-two. Uh, so twenty-two to five. So is that roughly half? No, that's not half. Hold on, math time. Avoid the keypad because that's going to change the scene. Um. Twenty two divided by five is four point four. So maybe a quarter? Maybe a quarter? So what is a quarter of this? That's a long way. Quarter of 97, what is that? It's a big number. 97 divided by 4 be 24? No, I, yeah, I think I'm tracing, I'm chasing a rabbit trail here because I don't think that side should be 24 blocks. Well, although 24 blocks, that counts, right, that counts the whole length, so 24 divided by 2 is only going to be what, 12? One, two, three. Ah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um. Well, maybe, maybe. I, I think that's going to be too long. But we'll see. Maybe not. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's going to be way too long. Way too long. It's kind of what I suspected. Okay. So let's just kind of eyeball it and go for, I'm going to say, eight. Let's 
line. Eight. Does that look right? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, whoops. Four, five. I'm not sure this is coming together fast enough either. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we're going to make that one four. See, did we have two runs of five? We did. Now we had one run of five. One run of five, and then we'll have two runs of four. And one run of three. Two runs of two. And we'll start in on the diagonals. How's that looking? That's... I'm pretty sure that's too... turning too quick. I'll go a little farther with it. Once we ever get the pattern down, though, it should be easy to replicate. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see. How long was this part? Eight? Eight. How long was the diagonal over here? One, two, three, only three. Go back and start in with the two runs of two. And the one run of three. No, no, that is way too short. Way too short. So I'll stick with eight at the beginning. Let's see, so eight, seven, seven. Seven, 
six. Six and six. So eight, seven, seven, six, six. Five. Five and five. Looking closer. It's looking closer. Say so one, two, three, four, let's go. Five. sure there's some website out there that would tell me exactly what these dimensions need to be. I probably should take the time to go look it up because, yeah. Two and two. Three and three. I did the base of that without the help of an online calculator though. Three and three. Four and four. I don't think we're quite going to make it. Five and five. Six. Wait, did I do two fives? That one's four. That one's five. Yeah, I did two fives. Okay. Two sixes. So this one will be seven. This one will be seven. Uh, that's close. That's close. But is it even really a circle? It does not really look like a circle to me. Looks like a rounded... Uh, looks more like a square with rounded corners. Uh, fail. Yeah, so... This section needs to be longer, and these don't need to come out as far. Gonna go eat? Alrighty, man. Thanks for stopping by. You creep up. All right. That 
needs to be longer. This doesn't need to come out as far, so... Let's say... 8... 7... 7... Six, five, I'll even do five, five. Oh, that's four already. Alright, so eight, seven, seven, six, five, five, four, into the ones. For a significantly longer distance. How does that look? Does that look more like a circle? That's going to be way too short, too. Alright. I give up on this. I'm looking it up. Uh, let's see. What would a Google search for this look like? Um, Minecraft Circle Block Placement Calculator. Hey, look at that. Width, height, four circle. Okay, okay. This I can deal with. Let's see, so the I'm gonna have to get center though. Need to know what the radius is. Okay, so from you, to you is 97. Oh wow, okay. That, that, that is a... Then, yes, okay. Wow, can I download that? Let's see. Okay, okay. This, this might work. Let's see. Can I zoom in on that? I need to zoom in. Let's see if I can open that in a different program.
It's an SVG file, but I think I can let's see, open with. What else can I open it with? Um, paint? Can I open it in paint? No. Open with. Uh, nope, can't open it with that either. Okay, well, it's small, but I, I can see it. It's just, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is it? Let's see, did I count that right? So from the center point, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks like. So we were close on the initial, on the initial length. Seven, okay. Then five drops to five right away. That's where we went wrong. I need my angel block back. Angel block, thank you. Probably wouldn't hurt to make more than one of these. And I probably should just go ahead and tear down this old one. Let's see. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. Alright, uh, then. Three, three. Three, three. That's already feeling better because it slopes off more sharply. Three, three. Okay, then a whole bunch of twos. Let's see. Oh no, that's not three, three. That's five, four, three. Sorry, it's hard to see this thing because the squares on this calculator are so small and there's not an option to zoom in. I don't think. Actually there is a scale slider here. <gasps> I can zoom in! Haha, <laughs> okay. That'll make things easier. That'll make things a lot easier. <laughs> Excuse me. Two, three, four, five. Four, three, six, five, four, three, then two, two, two. Here, two, 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 then one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, and then the ones we have, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is nearly as long as the uh well it's as long nearly as long as one half of the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. 
Hmm. That looks awfully short. Um. Then. Two, one, two, one. Two one two one, then two two two, two two two, then three four five. should be back at this other edge, which we're nowhere close to the other edge. Something is not right. Um, it does look nice and circular, though. Yeah, something's majorly not right. Are these distances not the same? And if the pods are not the same distance out from the tower, that's going to throw everything off. They had better be the same distance out from the tower. They had just better be. Okay, so that's one. They should be, because I made them, like this room should be the same dimensions. And I made them at the maximum length of the light bridge, I believe. Oh, stop that. <laughs> Being blown around by the uh, slipstream generators. Operating. Fine. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to build over it. How about that? There. All right. 97. So it should be 97. So either... Either I made a mistake in my building or that calculator's wrong. I'm not sure which. <clears throat> oh! Width and height, not radius. Bleh! Okay. Fine. Well, at least I know what went wrong. Alright, so 97 times 2. Uh, but is it times 2? Because it's centered on a thing. I think it's times 2 minus 1. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fooey. And I don't have a center marker on this one. Let's find the center. There's my first guess. 13. 10. Which I 
think is the center because we've got a lip that sticks out one here. Let's see, so it's longer toward the front of the pod than toward the back by one. Let's see if that's what we did over here. Or actually not here, but over there. So that one should be dead in the middle because it's on the top. It's the bottom ones that have that lip throws things off. Eleven. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Now to check this way. Seventeen. And 17. Hey, look at that. Well, yeah, I would expect it to be more accurate there because we had the light bridge to go off of. All right, so now the big question from here all the way across. I need to harvest those. to there. 193. Double check. Just building an entire ring and finding out you're one block off is not the desired solution. Measure twice, cut once, as my woodworking professor instructor used to say. One hundred ninety-three. Good. All right. So back to the calculator then. One hundred ninety-three. Oh yeah, that's going to be much bigger. And way over here, we have two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one more time with feeling. careful with this when I get close to the uh, other stuff. So it's in empowered mode so it does a three tall. Okay, good. This can go. Oh, 
All right. Now then, double check my measurements here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, counting the center point. So right now we're at seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, yes, good. Okay, then we drop to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we drop to five. Then four, four. Okay, four, four. Four, four, three, two, three. Three, two, three. Then a bunch of twos in a row. Let's see how many twos in a row is that? Two, three, four, five, six. Twos in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I had a piece of this I didn't finish cleaning up. Okay. Six twos in a row. I apologize for the uh, sniffly, stuffy sounds, guys. Allergies, evidently, are giving me fits. All right. Six twos in a row, followed by um, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Then one one one. One one one. Then a two. And then a whole bunch of ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. 
Philly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was how many I said, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine ones in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Okay. Then a two. Then three ones. Oh, lag spikes. <clears throat> then two one, two one, two one. Yeah, two one, two one, two one. That's looking pretty good. <clears throat> two one, two one, two one. Then we're back into a string of twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. The six twos. One, two. Four, five, six, six twos, and three, two, three. Three, two, three, four, four. Seven. And this last run should be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be ten. Beautiful. Dead on target. All right. Let's see how that looks from a distance now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Wow. Ooh. Okay. That looks good. All right, so so we have the pattern for that. I need to. 
download this. Where's that download option? By the way, the site that I'm using for this, in case you're interested, I'll paste it here. That's the site that I'm using for this. Um, seems to work fairly well with the exception of after you've been on the page for a little while, there's a uh, changes the top of the page to a donate thing, which I, I don't mind him asking for donations, but... Um, oh, there's what I'm looking for. Never mind. I thought it took away the options for downloading. You can choose to download as an SVG or a PNG, but it actually doesn't take away the uh, download options. The scale slider on his page is what lets you choose um, how, how much you zoom in. Just bear in mind that the width and height on that is um, diameter, not radius. The PNG file, though, downloaded with no um, nothing in it. The SVG downloaded okay, though. Okay. So that will work for. Let's get rid of this. Uh, actually, let me recharge my drill. Let's see. Wrong pod. I really need to name these pods badly. Still the wrong one, although I needed to charge this too. It's charged up already. Are you? There you are. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I was about to try and access the ME system from there, and I forgot I have that quantum bridge still down. So throw that in there, that in there, that, and that in there. Don't need those. Good. Okay. and I can remove that now. Now the other thing is, once we've, now that we've got the circle part figured out, we need to find out what the center point up and down in the pod is, and where the center point up and down in that pod is, and figure out the curve for the whole thing going vertically, which that's going to be interesting. I wonder if there's a spiral calculator. That would be interesting. <clears throat> I 
I could see this next part being very tricky. So let's say I'm going to guess that it's going to be kind of in the ceiling. <laughs> Mini circles, big giant circles. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, Drail, how's it going, man? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Whoa, too far. So, how tall is this whole thing? 17. It would be 17. 17 doesn't divide evenly. Okay, 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. So it's actually going to be, like, right at the ceiling? That's interesting. So my guess, then, is that it's going to be right... Right where the light is, of course. My scene is a bit off-center. Uh-oh. Oh, it is. Did I change? Yeah, sorry about that. I hit, uh... Evidently hit one of the numpad things, which I tend to do when I'm using the calculator. That I've got that set up. Change scenes, and that probably was the scene that was set up for um, for the um, Commander Keen playthrough, which I actually need to finish. Okay, so are you? By the way, that we've been. Twelve. You're not actually centered, which means the square probably isn't actually centered. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. So, if we want this spiral to go from, let's see, let's find the center vertically of this one. If these pods are identical, which they had better well be, then it should be on the ceiling of this one as well. Alright, something like that. That's not right. Ten. What's the height of this whole thing? Seventeen. Wait, what? So the height of the whole thing is right. But my upper and lower floors are wrong? That's, that's confusing. That's very confusing. How tall is my lower floor here? Five. How tall? 
well as my lower floor here. Five. What? Oh no, that is ten. Okay. So the pods are the same. I have the block in the wrong position. That's ten and that's eight. So it actually needs to go up into the ceiling... What, one block? I think it's one block. Um, marker, please. Break you. Real one, get rid of the marker. Um, so now... Okay. That's nine. And nine. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, client crash. Why did it Yeah, my client just totally crashed. Um So I have no idea why. Disconnect dot generic reason. Internal exception, Java IO exception, existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. Does not really say why. Alrighty. Well, I'm relaunching the client. That's going to take a minute. Tell you what, I'm going to take a break while that reloads because that's going to take a while. Um, this is a, a very beefy pack and it takes probably like five minutes or so for it to load, which I try to do off stream before you guys come in for obvious reasons. Um, but anyway, take yourself a break, grab yourself a snack or a drink, and uh, we will be back in a little bit. All right, so the client has loaded back up now.
Some of these mods that check for newer versions, I really wish that they would be smart enough to not check for newer versions if the newer version is on a newer version of Minecraft. Because honestly... Okay, I really have no idea what that error was about. Uh... That shouldn't still be there. Okay, I guess that was just visual. So let's see, I think we were double checking our measurements here, so that's nine. That's nine, okay, good. So now let's see if that duplicates over here. So if everything here is the same, which it should be, I should have left those two over there. Marker. That real one gone access. Leave these over here for later. Look at that. <clears throat> Please be nine. Nine! Yes. Please be nine. Yes. Okay, so that's the center. Vertical. Um, vertically is the center. Now, let's make sure we should be right under. <coughs> should be right under this. This will let us know for sure. Yes, height 11, no, north, south, east, west. So good. So that is marking the center of those two pods. Now, getting this circle to go from that center to that center that's going to be interesting because we basically have to make this arc arc <laughs> if that makes any sense um i'm not entirely sure how to do that Minecraft spiral calculator. Um, shape generator. Sphere dome cone, baser curve, solid. Well, that's a really cool calculator, but it doesn't seem to do spirals. This 
spiral stair geometry calculator. Now oh, this is for like <laughs> this isn't for Minecraft, this is like Can I use this though? Err No, that's that's not gonna work very well. Spiral staircase to well <clears throat> Okay, let's see if I can use the same pixel generator that we were using for the outer circle. I'm going to have to get kind of creative with the way I'm doing this. So what I need to know, if I imagine that there was another circle, Right, going from the middle of one around through the middle of the other one on around then that should give me the upward arc no it wouldn't either because that arc is going to be too steep it needs to be more shallow work because it's going to go on up and around eh. What is the height difference between the center of this one and the center of this one? Twenty. Nice even twenty. See, that's a very shallow rate of increase. So I need to come up just a few blocks along as it goes, and that's going to be nearly impossible to eyeball. Uh, hmm. Must find a calculator that will do this. Trying to think if there's any way I could use just a regular circle calculator to give me that information. Um, I mean, I could tell it to give me a circle with a diameter of 20 and then take one quadrant of that and try and spread the changes out over the length of that run. I think that might come close. Um, mm, this, this is going to be tricky. Alright, let's see what this thing gives me if I tell it.
I tell it, okay, give me... something that only has a width and height of 20. Okay. And then... Wow, this is going to be tricky, tricky, tricky. Um... No, this just isn't going to work. Well, there's how we could calculate it. X equals R cosine T, Y equals R cosine T, Z equals PT. Um, I really didn't want to do <laughs> the math myself. JavaScript code. That's to draw it, though. It doesn't... Uh, doesn't do the rasterization. Minecraft 3D Spiral Calculator. Lipsoid, Taurus, Ellipse. Observatory with uh, hmm. Unfortunately that doesn't do spirals. Most of these that do circles don't do spirals. No. And there's some nice calculators out there, but not so much for spirals. I have seen on a server before a double helix of water. That's part of the information for this. Double helix where they had made out of glass and one side of it was water and one side of it was lava. Um, so I know it's possible. There's got to be... I would think there would be a calculator out there for it already, though.
Alright, let's do let's do this. Let's we know that the height difference is twenty. Man, what we need to know is how long how long this portion of the circumference is. And then we could divide the length of the of that segment of the circumference by 20 and figure out how many blocks to go before we bring it up a block. I think that might work. <clears throat> Show. Oh my goodness, I left this on the away screen or I flipped it back to the away screen at some point. Apologies for that. Nobody told me. Nobody told me you guys got to tell me these things. All right, so let's let's take some measurements. All right, so that's ten. Ten plus seven. Oh, I did it again. I'm using the... Sorry, it's habit when I use the calculator to use the numpad. Five... Four... Plus five, plus four, plus... Four plus. Wait a minute. I can probably just look at the. Yeah, I can just add up on this thing faster than making all these separate measurements. I can get away from this in case the creek responds. All right. So let's. Ten. Let's see. 10 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3, 2, 3 um, then the 2 times 6 Open parentheses two times six plus. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one plus two plus one plus two plus one, two, one, two. Plus one plus two plus <laughs> plus the one 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 that's three plus two plus one two three four five six seven eight nine plus nine plus two Two plus the one 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 plus two one two one two one two one two one two one okay um then the other two times six then three two three And the four four and 
then five seven ten. If I did my math right, it's a, always a big if when it comes to me and math. That's 137 bucks. So 137. Watch this not come out even. 137 divided by 20. Yep, 6.85. So roughly every six blocks, we need to go up a block. 6.85. Wish that had come out even. Would have been nice. All right. 6.85. So now this one needs to start from here. Ooh, yay, yay. Do we go up on the sixth block? I guess for most of them we would go up on the sixth block. blocks at this level is that? Five, so we're gonna have one more at that level, that'll be the six. Yep, okay, and that's the ten, and then this starts the seven, which means I need to go Right under the Stargate. Let's see, so that's one, two. confusing to look at. Okay, so 10. That's wrong. Okay. 10. Seven. Good. And the distances when it changes height are... Six one two 
Um, so it should be roughly five at that level. That one should be up one. Starting right here, it should be up one. Let's put that back there, let's put that there. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure these dimensions are still correct. That should be 10. Yep. And then this should be 7. Yes. Good. Okay. Some of this. Ah, really? Okay. And I'm just going to leave some of the rest of this down here for later repair. So then we should be going four, five. Except it needs to bump up right there. Okay, so after the five, scroll back over here. Five is four, four. Four, four, uh, three, two, three.
that almost seems like it's going up too fast. But remember, we're not trying to meet the bottom of that pod, we're trying to meet the middle. So it's actually going to cross our guide circle. That's five, that's five, that's five, okay. This is a lot of upfront pain, but I think when this is done, it is going to look fantastic. At least, I certainly hope it does, because if it doesn't, that's, that's going to be a real bummer. Uh, let's see. So three, two, three, and then we're in the two, six twos. Angel blocks for this. Right, one, two. Three, two, three, two, two. Wait, what? Oh, I really messed something up there. Okay. Three, two, three, two, three. Two, 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 but I'm going up too fast. Oh, that's five, that is five. Yeah, that one was too soon. Okay. Two, 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 two. One, two, three, four, five. I need one more set of two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six twos. Okay. At this height, we have five blocks. At this height, we have five blocks. At this height, we have. Oh, look, five blocks. Good. <clears throat> So, so far I should be able to hover above this and not see any places where we're outside of the guide circle when we're looking straight down. And so far so good. Oh, lag spike. I don't understand why I get those lag spikes when I'm on... The server is on my machine, so I shouldn't be getting lag spikes. But I do. Okay, so now, let's see. That was the fifth one at this level, right? Yes. Um, so now... Um, 
one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> then one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now somewhere in here, because our our height was actually 6.85. I'm wondering if we should have been going We should have been doing six full blocks at each height. And then there would be a fractional left over that we would have to make up for somewhere. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should have been doing six the whole time. Six per level. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Better now than later. Uh, whoops. Per level. Alright, that's five. Gotta knock that one out to remind me to put smooth stone back in there, which I don't have only. Six per level, okay. These should have come down one as well. There we go. So that's six there. So it's the ten, seven, this should be the five run. One, two. Should be the seven run. This is the ten run. This is the seven run. Buy smooth stone, I'll fix you later. I'll fix you later. All right. So ten, it's all the way out to here. 
Yes, that's seven. Let's see. So this is five at this height, or six at this height, yes. And Six at that height. There, okay. Six at that height. Six at that height. Total of ten in that run. Now we need a total of seven in this run. Total of seven in that run with <coughs> with five there. So the next one should be also at that height. And then it should start up on the next one. Seven run, this is the five run. One, two, three, four, five. So that should be a total of six at that height. Yes, good, okay. So I need six at this height, that's only four. Five, six. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Six at that height, six at that height, six at that height, six at that height, good. Okay. Coming along, I think we may be on target to hit the center point. Sleeping bag for the win.
curious how much height difference we have left between here and here. Can't be much. Four. And I don't know if we're rising too quickly or not. Almost feels like it, but we'll see.
So that didn't quite work out right. Uh, I'm now thinking I should have left it at five. <laughs> oh man. Because at six per, it's due for another level increase. And. Yeah, actually. Well, wait, is this actually not centered? did I mess up here? I messed up something. Possibly multiple somethings. Ugh. Oh no right, this is the this is the seven run. Right. That's the seven run. And then that still comes over one. So it is on target to hit this. Um, but height wise it's not. Height wise we we went too high. But that's going to work for converting the, the guide circle into the spiral. Right, taking, taking the height difference between the two and then spreading that out evenly along the length of the run. That's, gonna, that's going to work. We just should have made it runs of five instead of runs of six. Which is what I started to do and then I, then I second guessed myself. So, I think that may be what we do next time. Because we're close, but that's going to mean going back in there and basically starting the whole, not the guide circle, but the, um, the height circle more or less over again. Which I'm not really feeling right now. Next time I think we'll be on target to um, to get the height circle in place. And then we should be good to start thinking about what glass we want to use, what liquids we want to put in it, and extending the double helix on around to the remaining pods that are that are already built. And of course we've got we've got more pods we've got to build. And I honestly don't know what um, materials we're going to build that out of. I'd like to do some more stuff with the uh, with chisel because, uh, like this holy stone, the grimstone, I love those. Um, but I'd like to experiment with some of the other chisel things. Um, that pod turned out really well, the steampunk looking pod. Although we still need to put the second floor on that. Like the subfloor is not in on this one. Like most of them, if you'll notice, even this eyesore one has like a three deep floor. And that one does not. So we need to come back in with smooth stone, finish out that floor. Um, yeah, we need to build. We need to build more pods. We actually need to build some more light bridges because the um, there should be light bridges there and there because this pod should have one above it. That pod should have one above it. Uh, so let's see, how many total pods are we missing? So one, two, three, minimum of three. 
we're missing a minimum of three pods and probably more because let's see that pod is at this level yeah I'd really like to go up one more set of pods so we're really talking about seven pods that we need to build oh my goodness seven pods that we need to build and then the double helix to run up through them that is a lot of building folks that is a lot of building um i think it's going to look really really fantastic when it's done though still got to put a top on the tower a beacon yeah so much to do so little time Whoa! Uh -oh. The miner is completely backed up. Uh, where is the digital miner? Off this way. Why are you backed up? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. A lot of poor iron. Um. Okay, I, I'm guessing I'm out of storage room in the ME network. Uh oh, that's out of power. Glad these elevators don't run on RF. Why are we out of power? You're actually running. I'm trying to run. Too much waste in the reactor. Okay, that's beginning to pick back up. Okay. Yeah, ME system's back up and running now. Okay, so that's a thing. We need to uh, make sure that the waste gets ejected from the system. How much are we out of fuel here now? No, you still got fuel. Okay, that should eventually catch back up. That's a lot of poor iron, though. How much poor iron do we have in the system? Wow, that is a lot. Melt it down for two nuggets. <laughs> and that's it. Can't crush it, can't. Wow. I'm wondering if there's something not showing up in any eye that you can do with Railcraft that improves poor iron. I know that there are basically poor iron spawners under bedrock. It's basically a way to get infinite iron even though it's a little bit at a time. Infinite. Any of the poor things. Poor lead, poor iron, poor gold. But I thought that it required smooth stone to respawn the poor stuff into. Uh, so basically you could mine out the area, refill it with smooth stone, and it would over time convert some of that smooth stone into poor iron. Um, based on how much of the stuff we have now, I'm beginning to wonder if the stuff is spawning about as fast as it can mine it. Let's 
left if we have hit a truly infinite source of, of <laughs> poor iron that would be uh, not necessarily the best no don't do that this is where I need an actual crafting terminal instead of a pattern terminal because the pattern terminal when I do this and I try and take out iron ingots, it'll actually take the made iron ingots that are out of the uh, system. If I had a crafting terminal, on the other hand, it would do the right thing. Let's see, did I have a crafting terminal in here? No, just a pattern terminal. that back up. That's charged. See, I could almost use a export bus on this and just leave it processing. I run a copper. I saw a copper in there. So hopefully that means it's not actually stuck on something. It's just got a very big blob of poor iron it's going through. That is a lot of poor iron, though. Uh, let's see. Make me an export bus. cable and a poor iron this is probably going to break some of these machines because I think I'm one channel too short Okay, that'll work. So I may actually leave this running some. I normally don't leave the server running a lot when I'm not streaming, but in this case, to process some of that poor iron, I might do that. Leave it running overnight or something. Oh, interesting. These iron nuggets are not the same. I don't know why it would consider them any different. It should be or dictionary. Five, three, four, five. There. That is a lot of poor iron ore. <laughs> Ooh, Certus. Yes, thank you, Certus. Certus is good. Yeah, 116. Nice. I like it. All right. 
All right, I think we're going to leave it there, folks. Uh, been live almost two and a half hours. So let's see then who is on that we can go visit. Um, let's see. Where's my Twitch? There's my Twitch. Let us see who else that I follow is streaming right now. Uh, Darkosto and Dragoness are both streaming, but they're streaming things other than Minecraft. So I think we're just going to call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, I hope you'll consider hitting that follow button if you're seeing this on Twitch, or the subscribe button if you're seeing this on YouTube for all the latest and greatest. And we will see you guys next time.